Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Does your Zygu G90 sometimes seems like it's doubling as a George Foreman grill? If so, I've got just the thing. From Radiotity, the G90 H1 cooling fan and bracket. Show you how well it works and what makes it tick right after this. This is the Radiotity G90H1 cooling bracket fan. Comes with a little ice sticker says Radiotity, and this one, though it's upside down, says be careful, the fan. The supply voltage, 12 to 14 and a half volts DC. Consumption maximum, 150 milliamps at 12 volts. On the top, they have this little sensor for controlling the speed of the fan and monitoring the temperature of the heat sink. You can either power the fan directly through Anderson power poles, or you can use the cord that comes with the radio to plug into the side, and then this back cord will go into the back of the G90. You got the brains of the fan underneath. Now there is nothing protecting either the top or the bottom of the fan, so you gotta be careful, otherwise you're gonna whack one of your fingers. The sensor going into the main circuit board, the power in and then back out. If you need to do any work, the board is clearly marked if you want to change any of the plugs for the in and out. When you get the fan, you are going to have to put these brackets on. It comes with the four extra little hex nuts and it comes with an Allen key to put them on. Back here at this little half moon, this is where the ground lug on the radio will sit inside and you can tighten it up for a little more security. You do have these spring loaded legs here for angling the radio so you can see it a little better. And they stow away for easier packing. Okay, we're gonna take the temperature of the radio fresh out of the box, hasn't been turned on. Showing 74 degrees. Now we'll power it on and let it sit for an hour. We'll check the temperature then. Okay, the radio's been sitting here on standby for one hour. See what the temperature is now. It's climbed to 86. On the side where the cooling fins are, it's 90. See what it is underneath as well. On the very bottom, it's showing 89. Okay, we've got the fan running. I'm going to leave it in standby like this for one more hour and see what kind of temperature we have after the fan's been going. Be back in an hour. Okay, now let's see what the temperature is with the fan running. It's 79 degrees on the heat sink on the side. And the top is 82. See what we can get on the bottom. And the bottom is 80 degrees. And I'm going to set up an antenna, start calling CQ, maybe make a few contacts for an hour, and we'll see what kind of temperature we get without the fan, and then we'll do it again with the fan. Be back as soon as everything's set up and ready to go. The antenna we're going to be using for the next part is the Chameleon Hybrid Mini, along with the whip and extension. Okay, right now it's showing 77.4 degrees. I'm going to try calling CQ. Maybe we'll find a contact or two. And we'll check back in about an hour to see what the temperature is again. Okay, I'll see what the temperature is after the radio has been used for about an hour. Top is showing 101 degrees. Beep. 
the side showing 103. Sorry, it's not fully in focus. And the bottom heat sink is 102. Now I'm going to get the fan hooked up, use it for another hour, and see what kind of temperatures we get with the fan. Okay, got everything hooked up. The fan is running. Be back in about an hour to see what the temperature is. Hopefully we can make another contact. I already made one to Calgary, Canada. Okay, now we've had the fan running while calling CQ, trying to make contacts, trying a little CW. See what the temperature is. On the side cooling heat sink, we got 83 degrees. On the top, 86. And on the bottom, 81 degrees. This fan has performed very well, both just being used in standby and when the radio is in normal use. I called CQ, had a contact, also tried CW, all of it at 20 watts. And the temperatures, I think they speak for themselves. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. While you're here, check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.